Why do ISPs not ISCP? Upgrade their speeds for the same price. Hindi ba sila lugi nun? No, they are not. And to find out why, watch the video until the end to find out why. What's up, it's Poy here and welcome na naman sa panibagong Learn More episode. And in today's episode, eh, sasagutin nga natin yung tanong na kung bakit nga ba ina-upgrade ng mga ISPs ang kanilang speed for the same price. And there are three main reasons kung bakit nga ba sila hindi lugi. Now, we will discuss those topics one by one and magsimula tayo sa unang point natin which is yung availability. And no, I am not talking about the availability of the internet itself, but rather the availability of the equipments that are needed to deliver the internet. Now, it all falls down sa supply and demand concept, where in kapag mas marami kang supply ng isang bagay, bababa ang presyo neto relatively. As technology progresses, maraming innovation na nangyayari. Habang nag innovate ang technology, mas nagiging efficient ang pagmamanufacture ng mga equipments na kailangan sa internet infrastructure. Making those equipments widely available which brings down the price relatively. Magandang example dito ang fiber optic technology. Dati, hindi pa ito widely available since rare pa ang technology na ito. At since rare nga ito and it is relatively new to the industry, mas mahal ang equipments na kailangan para makapagtayuhan ng infrastructures para dito. Ngayon, mas nagiging widely available na siya dahil mas nagiging common na ang fiber optic technology which also kind of brings down the money it takes to build massive and long fiber optic infrastructures. So, punta na tayo agad sa ating second point which is yung competition. And yes, I am talking about the competition between our major telco players dito sa Pilipinas. We have PLDT, Globe, Converge dito, and Sky Broadband. Here, you want to set your pricing to be competitive with other brands. Kasi kung hindi ka mag adjust mapang-iiwanan ka. Actually, hindi lang sa pricing pwede ka maging competitive, no? Pwede ka din maging competitive by boosting up speeds, adding other plan inclusions, and other promotions that would attract customers. Perfect examples ang latest speed adjustments na naganap with our several major telco players. PLDT Globe Converge recently boosted their speeds for the same price. Well, hindi sila sabay-sabay. Pero, nagsunod-sunod yung speed adjustments. Of course, ayaw naman nilang lumipat yung mga customers nila doon sa mga telco players na nag-upgrade ng speeds. Again, competition. And last but not the least is demand. An 8 Mbps internet connection back in 2012 was blazing fast. But having an 8 Mbps connection today is weird. It will cause extreme video pixelation and severe lag. <laughs> As technology progresses, the need for a bigger internet bandwidth has become more and more popular, with speeds now boasting up to 1 gigabits per second. There is no denial that the internet speed also needs to adapt to the world's internet demand. Again, pag hindi ka mag adjust mapang iiwanan ka. Imagine if PLDT didn't adjust their internet speed but decided to stick to their 8 Mbps internet connection with a monthly fee amounting to 3,500 pesos. I mean, who wants to get that? Right? So you know, bago tayo magtapos, shout out muna tayo. So shout out nga pala kay Kathleen Alada, kay Alia Villegas, at kay Jim Lloyd Acosta. But in anyway, I think hanggan dito na lang muna tayo. Pero if may questions ka pa regarding this topic, eh, do not hesitate to comment below and I will try my best para makapag-respond. Like mo na din tong video na to kung nahanap mo tong useful or kung nag-enjoy ka. And mag-subscribe ka na din so you won't miss my future uploads. So yun na nga, thank you so much for staying until the end of this video. This is Poi and see you in my next video.